Are you thinking of a move to Martinsburg, West Virginia? This is the place everyone is asking about lately. Our viewers are drawn to the lower home prices, a growing economy and job force, and the location not too far from some major metropolitan areas. Martinsburg has caught the eye of many looking to settle down in an affordable area. We're gonna take you on a tour of the top seven neighborhoods in Martinsburg today to give you a sampling of the home options here. Know that there are many more options. Today, we're only focusing on neighborhoods that come up most often in the sales records. Aside from top sellers, we also made sure to provide a mix of older and newer homes to show you a range of options. There's quite a bit of new construction here being actively built and also planned for the future, as is true of many surrounding counties. This is a popular and growing area. Stick around to the end to hear some of the bonus neighborhoods that we'll mention. And as always, we have a neighborhood driving tour for you to download for free, including the top seven and the bonus neighborhoods in case you want to go out and research for yourself. This download provides addresses for easy navigation and they're listed in smart geographical order. First up, we have Arcadia North and Arcadia Springs. These are located very close to the Martinsburg VA Medical Center on either side of Van Clevesville Road. In the newer section of Arcadia Springs North, there is a mix of townhomes and single family homes and they're currently building ranch style homes at the time of this filming. Prices for single family homes over the past year ranged from just under 300,000 to just under 400,000. Townhome prices over the past year ran from 236,000 to 336,000. These homes are being built by Ryan Homes. Ryan Homes has future plans for walking trails and a dog park. In the older section of Arcadia Springs, you will find ranch style and traditional two level homes built between 2012 and 2020. Over the past year, prices ranged from 300,000 to just under 400,000. Our second stop today is Stonebridge, located just down the road from the Berkeley County Fairgrounds, as well as the Van Meter 9 at Stonebridge Golf Course. There are a lot of different styles of homes here. It really doesn't feel like a cookie cutter neighborhood. You have a wide range of single family homes and a smaller selection of villa style townhouses. The homes were built between the early 90s up to the early 2000s. Pricing for the single family homes over the past year ranged from the low 300,000s to just under 400,000. How about those townhome prices, Kristen? Well, if you specifically want a townhome, you're gonna to wanna to jump on it fast if it hits the market. We haven't seen one sell since early May of 2023. The price at that time was 305,000. Overall, this neighborhood stands out for having a pool, which is a rarity in the HOA communities out here. And it also has a pretty lake and lots of walking trails. Our third stop today is at Prentice Point. This neighborhood offers some great price points for first time buyers. Located on the Southeast side of downtown Martinsburg, they have single family homes built from the early 1990s to present and townhomes built between 2003 to 2012. The most recent newer homes were done by the builder HC and BG as we are filming this in 2024. There are still a few for sale. Over the past year, single family homes here sold for between just under 275,000 and just under 360,000. Townhomes sold for between 213,000 and 252,000. Mm, those are great prices. They sure are. If you're finding our neighborhood tour valuable, now is the time to like the video or subscribe to our channel. This helps Helps cheer us on as we create more helpful content for you. And if you'd like the roadmap, you can download our free Martinsburg neighborhood tour complete with street addresses so you can go explore on your own. The best part about this one is that on this drive, you will pass a lot of neighborhoods that we don't even mention in the video. We mapped out just the right route for you. For our fourth neighborhood, we're headed to Mountain View Acres next. There are some older homes here from the early 60s all the way up to the early 2000s. Lots of ranchers, raised ranchers, and split levels here. That's the widest age range we've seen yet. This neighborhood is located in the northwest portion of Martinsburg. Over the past year, homes sold for between 200,000 and just over 350,000. While this is an HOA community, dues are low at $50 a year. Also notable, some of these homes offer a decent amount of space between you and your neighbors. A chief complaint for new construction is often that they cram as many homes in as they can and it can lead to feeling pretty cramped. If you value privacy, this may be a good neighborhood for you. We're going back in time now, just a little earlier for our fifth neighborhood. Homes in Briarwood were built between the late 50s up to the late 90s. 
This neighborhood is right by the Berkeley Medical Center. This is another great first time buyer neighborhood with single family home prices ranging between 240,000 to just over 350,000. There were only five home sales in the last year in this neighborhood, so it's another one to keep a close eye on if you wanna get in here. Narrowing in on our last few neighborhoods, coming in at number six is Martinsburg Station, located at the southwest corner of downtown Martinsburg. This neighborhood features, are you ready for it? I'm ready. <laughs> Walking trails, stocked ponds for your fishing trips, tennis courts, and a clubhouse with a pool. If you want an HOA with all the amenities, this is where you will want to be. Here you will find a mix of single family homes, townhomes, and duplexes. There's currently some new construction going on with single family homes and townhomes with DRB. Over the past year, single family homes in Martinsburg Station sold for between $360,000 and just under $600,000. Build dates range from 2008 to present. Townhomes here sold between $256,000 and just under $300,000. And the build dates here range from 2007 to the present. Lastly, this community features some of those rare duplexes as we mentioned. One sold this past year for 355,000. Build dates range from 2007 to 2021. Our last stop before we name our honorable mentions is Heritage Hills. This community is nestled away south of the busy business district of Martinsburg. This is one of the few neighborhoods in Martinsburg that offers natural gas connections. And we know some people have very strong opinions about this, so wanted to mention it. Yeah. This one has homes currently under construction by local builder Four Points Construction. They offer seven different floor plans, both ranch style and two-story homes. Single family homes here were built between 2008 up to 2024. Prices over the past year ranged from just under 275,000 to 500,000. Sales of new townhome construction is not being offered at this time, but there are resale options built between 2019 and 2023. Prices for the townhomes in this area ranged from about 240,000 up to around 280,000. There are two and three level townhomes, some options with and without garages. Lastly, our honorable mentions. A few others for those of you who want to do extra research. We've got Red Hill, the communities of Burwell, and Archer's Rock. Notably, Archer's Rock is located north of the hustle and bustle of the business district. This community offers a serene setting in the country, but is close enough to everyday necessities should you need a quick shopping trip. A few others to check out are Dry Run Commons, Forest Heights, and Star Acres. And there are new construction communities that come up now and again, so there may be new options by the time you're watching this. Feel free to reach out if you would like an updated list. That's all for our Martinsburg tour, but your next video to watch is our showdown between Berkeley and Jefferson County. Watch <laughs> out, we throw a few punches in that video. Oh, I'd hardly call yours punches. All right, signing off before we get too rowdy. See you next time.